Hello, U.S. History students. Mr. Olson here. We're going to be doing the class, obviously, a little bit differently these next few weeks. So we uh, hope you can hang in there. I hope you can be patient and uh, watch these videos. The first thing I'll say up front is, in my class, it's going to be done weekly. So I'll be posting once a week, every Monday. This first week's a bit different because we we got started later doing these lesson plans. But moving forward, each Monday I'll post work for the whole week. There will be our PowerPoint notes. You won't get me lecturing. I'll do a little mini thing on these videos each week. That's going to be it. You'll be expected to sift through the PowerPoints, take the notes, watch the videos. There may be questions about the videos. Instead of having me explain them in class, you'll be doing some questions. For example, when you watch the John Green videos, I'll still be attaching some of the Century videos we've been watching. Those take 45 minutes to watch, but you know the workload should be similar to kind of what we would be doing if we were to see one another. The most important thing is each week, watch this video up front. It will explain kind of how this is going to work. So this particular week, I'm expecting four assignments. You'll see them all around the school loop. A couple of them involve attachments where you'll need to print or look at something, answer questions. You can, you know, write them down if you want and take pictures. The main thing is you have to get them to me electronically. And I prefer one email for, per student. So, you know, first period, sorry, I'm just going to remember students here. I don't want to single anybody out, but, you know, Tristan, Connor, uh, Paulina, et cetera, you guys, um, you know, send in one email to me with all four things, either in one big Google Doc or, you know, attached to separate things. But I want to see one email per student. So for this first week, four assignments. If we, if we spread them out during the week, you know, in my class, there are 10 points each. So for the first week, it's going to be 40 points to get all four of these things into me that you see. These, uh, this, this unit, we're focusing on the Cold War, the time period of tension that followed World War II, when uh, America and Russia kind of emerged as the new big superpowers, and they kind of had these different philosophies. America free market economy, capitalism, under Stalin, the Soviets moved towards communism, more government control of economics, and the two countries began to stockpile weapons, and you know they had the space race. A number of these things you'll be seeing in the PowerPoint presentations right off the bat with this first one this week. With regards to the notes, as you watch the PowerPoint, Take the notes like always. I'll be collecting those in a different manner every other week. So really, during this time period, there's going to be two things that you're going to be kind of mandated to do on a regular basis. We can't do tests. I can't give you multiple choice exams. If we get to a point where this extends, I may post like essay question test and we'll use turn it in. We're not there yet, so don't panic. So the things that we're going to do, since we can't do big projects, we're not going to have group things. We don't want people around each other, right, doing big poster projects. Two things, the notes, which I'm going to collect every other week. Go through the PowerPoints. Take notes in your notebook like always. I'll explain more next week how you get those to me for the first batch of notes. For this week, the other element that we'll do is the one thing you're going to turn in this week is the batches of homeworks. They might be page numbers, could be web quests, could be video worksheets. You'll watch the Century video, 45 minutes, uh, like we would in class. Um, for the John Green videos, there might, now might be some questions, so I know you're kind of watching them. So you're gonna see three or four, maybe in a rare week, five things in a week, because that's kind of how we operate when I see you day to day. So you're going to be expected to do the web quest, the various things. This week, and I'm being a little repetitive here, um, but this is like my, my third or fourth take to in this video. Anyway, there's going to be four things. Look at the four things on School Loop. Look at the attachments. Watch the Century video. Answer the questions. Just kind of follow along. Get me those four things again in one email due next Monday. Each week I'm going to post Monday. 
do the following Monday. That gives me during the week to look at all your emails, grade everything, put it in the grade book. As Mr. Nazar said on his announcement, if you watched it, that's also been pushed out on YouTube and through our YouTube channel, it's on this high school website, we are grading. The, I know some of you will probably have questions about the third quarter grade. That's based on where we left off on Friday. We ended with the World War II unit test, perfect end off point. That's your quarter grade. But the ongoing semester grade continues, including these things that we're posting. So do the four assignments this week, go through the PowerPoint, start to absorb some things about the Cold War, this battle for power between America and Russia. And you know, during, doing these activities will help you absorb more of that. I know you'll miss me in my lectures. I'll, I'll see you next week when you watch the next video. Uh, stay on it, stay on task. Let's you know, continue to progress so that we can meet the time requirement so that you that want to go to college, right, can go to college. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience during this time. I'll miss all of you, your high levels of energy. I know I only mentioned uh, first period students. Maybe next week I'll mention some third period students like uh, Bella and, you know, Aiden and others. Well, I guess I just mentioned them. All right, everybody. We'll see you next week. Take care and stay healthy.